Gladly Chosen, keeping them woke and doing a little bit exposing and shining light. So subscribe and like to the channel if you haven't already. So I want to do this topic for y'all. My head is hurting so bad. I got a headache. I don't know exactly why I'm having headaches. It could be due to stress. Sometimes, like I told somebody today, you know what I'm saying? We could be stressed out and not know that we're stressed out. But what I'm getting at is, it's this particular person. My spirit told me about them a while ago. Spirit doesn't lead us wrong. Instinct doesn't lead us wrong. Our guts do not lead us wrong. So as I had this judgmental ideal about this person that ended up not being so judgmental, because it's uh, ju being judgmental is having a judgment before. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I, I did have a, a prejudgment. And maybe necessarily I didn't have a prejudgment. I think it was some things that take place to make me feel the way that I feel. But it wasn't so severe to the point where I should have felt so strong about the way I did. But anyway, I felt strong about it. So next thing I know, I'm telling this person about my testimonies. They sharing things about testimonies. And just some of the things that they said and how they came off was so negative. Throughout the time of me working with them, it's been so negative. I've been trying to take it, and I've been trying to take it. And I've been happy. I've been at a real happy state in my life, you know, um, within my life. And you have to be careful what you let the devil hear because I was saying, oh, oh how I love my job and, and how all this right here. So the devil, he knew exactly what I was proud of. Next thing I know, I'm working with the new person that I was telling y'all about. So... I know that this person is is an enemy to me or an adversary because they seem like they're my friend. You know, when I speak to them and I talk to them and everything, it's okay, but it's always some type of drama. It's always some type of controversy. It's always some type of something. You know, I can tell that person something. Next thing I know, I come back from break and everybody knows. Uh, trying to make me seem like I'm not doing my job and everything else. So, and then with people like that, see, you have to, you have to get your ducks in a row. Um, you know, I even found out that other people felt the way that they felt about that person. Like she's hard to work with, etc. So I know it's not me. And you know, this person was making it seem like I wasn't doing my job. But what hurt me, y'all? Do y'all know that I've been staying over? To complete my job a whole hour over. Do y'all know that I've been busting my behind to stay over? Do y'all know that I went in there and did things that did that needed to be done that hadn't been done for a long time, such as dusting, getting getting certain areas, you know, getting food accumulation and all this. So it's mighty funny how before I was working with that person, I was looked at to be honorable. Oh, Eric Miss. Miss Erica is this, Miss Erica is that. Now, as soon as I work with this person, it seems like I'm doing everything wrong. That is a dead giveaway that that person is the enemy. You know what I'm saying? So, I wasn't going to say anything. I was contemplating, should I say something to the boss? I was so upset that uh, I talked to one of the boss because she confronted me about my job. And I just let her know. You know, by me letting her know, she agreed with me. She said it's a team effort. But the person I'm working with, isn't trying to make it a team effort. They're trying to make it a competition. So that let me know that if you want to compete with me, you must be jealous of me. If you want to compete with me, that must mean that I have something to offer. You can't compete with somebody that's not competable, competitive. I'm not going to be that type of person. So what I did is I just went started going more over and beyond thinking I could please this person. But this is another thing. Certain people, even I even talked to this person about the problems that I was having, thinking that that, that may solve it. But you know what? The devil is tricky. He'll make you seem, make it seem like everything's okay. But the whole time he'll be plotting on you how to get over on you again. He, he's a wolf in sheep clothing. So um, it just it just kept continuing to go on. The smart comments, the negativity, and everything. So as I was getting ready to leave, my boss asked me what's wrong. She said, "Nah, I come here and close the door." So. I spoke to my boss and I let her know what was going on. She immediately said that she was going to take me out. She said, you're not the only one. She's too bossy, ain't she? I said, yeah, too negative. But that was God saving me. That was God rescuing me because I was about to go back to those days where I was miserable. I was working around somebody and I was miserable. There's nothing I could do, you know? So 
God will answer your prayers, y'all. He really will. He really will. I feel relieved that I'm not going to be working with that person no more. And if I'm labeled as a snitch, so be it. But it's not fair for a person of my heart, my desires, and my intent to suffer what she was trying to put me through. So God got me away from that, but you have to be careful about these people. Me and this woman, we talked about God. We talked about rights and wrongs. And you know what I'm saying? For somebody to be stabbing you in the back like that, it's just... So that's just a little story I wanted to share with y'all. Thank God my boss interfered. She's going to put me in a, in a better location. I'm going to just be praying and I'm going to tell God thank you. I'm going to tell him thank you for rescuing me out of this situation. That's what I needed. You know, my head is hurting so bad from trying to, you know, dodge stress. But you can't dodge stress where stress is. So God got me out of that stressful situation. But be careful who y'all around. Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you are allowing to do anything to your health. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure a little bit of my headaches is coming from the stress that I've been, you know, been encountering. But um, my boss even apologized to me and gave me a hug and everything because the crazy thing is, you know, when people do me wrong, when I talk to others, people feel exactly what I'm saying. And sometimes I have felt in my life, and, you know, that's and this is another lesson too, y'all. See, if I was to tell a specific person that me and the person at work couldn't get along, when, when this particular person would get upset, they might be like, well, that's why you can't get along with nobody. Be careful who you tell stuff to, y'all, and don't get tricked up. Just because, you know what I'm saying, you work at 100 places, and 80 of those places you have problems, that don't mean it's you. It could be the world. The world is a majority. The world is more than you. And we have more bad people out here than good, so you're going to run across more bad people and bad situations when dealing with people. And people don't understand that. You know, when you, especially when you're chosen or you're trying to do things right. Look at how I was staying over. I, I was supposed to leave at 4.30. And I was getting out of there sometimes 5.40 to make sure things were being done. And here this person is. They leave exactly at 3.30 and not even doing anything. So, you know, you just got to be careful about people like that. Um, you know, and... and and God will, he, he'll rescue you, man. And I'm a firm believer of that because he's been showing me that he will rescue you. It's not been a job that I worked with. It was another woman. She used to give me so much hell. And that's because I'm a humble and I'm a shy person. She used to give me hell, more hell than this woman gave me, I tell you that. So much hell that I ended up quitting. I tried to talk to the boss about it. You know what the boss told me? Oh, she's like that with everybody. You just got to deal with it. Do I really? We don't have to deal with anything. God's not going to put more on us than we can bear, so why bear it? So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I hope somebody got something out of this, but, you know, we don't have to set ourselves up around people. We don't have to argue with people. We don't have to try to make people happy. If we, if we, if us being our best and ourselves ain't enough, then it don't need to be nothing at all. I'll talk to y'all later. Always do the right thing, and God will look out for you. And he will uh, reveal the snakes, the fakes, and give you a break. Talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.